I hear the complaint a lot with parents that they have become sort of a short order cook. And this recipe is a great way to satisfy everybody, even the parents. I like to add a little bit of vegetables into the mac and cheese for added nutrients and a little bit of complexity. I find that in the fall and winter months, butternut squash cubed up and roasted with the mac and cheese mixture is a great combination because you've got the sharpness of the cheddar cheese and the sweetness and the meatiness of the butternut squash. There's just a few elements to put everything together and that's the cooked pasta, the Mornay sauce, the cooked vegetables, and then breadcrumbs for topping. The Mornay sauce is just a classic French sauce that's really, really easy to make. You're just starting off with a roux, so that means you're adding in butter, melting butter, and flour. You wanna cook the uh, flour in the butter for just a few minutes to take the raw flour edge off, and then slowly whisk in the milk. And then once that sauce thickens, the flour is the thickening agent here. Once that sauce thickens, you wanna add in the grated cheese. Then I throw in a little bit of sauteed kale. I saute it down really, really well so it's not tough or crunchy. I think it's beautiful color, the dark green with the yellow and then the golden of the, the mac and cheese. And it's got a slightly bitter taste, but when it's incorporated with all of the Mornay sauce, then you don't really taste the bitterness so much. It just is another layer of complexity that when you taste the dish, you go, wow, oh, this is so good, but I don't know why it's so good. Stir it through, stir it through, stir it through. Give it a little taste. Maybe make sure it's seasoned enough with salt and pepper. I can't stress that enough. You put it into the casserole dish, that whole mixture, and then sprinkle it with the breadcrumbs on top and bake it in the oven at about 350 for about 30 minutes or until it's bubbling and browned and ready to 